Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at text-based editing in Adobe Premiere Pro, but it's probably not what you're thinking. All right, there's a lot of generative AI out there that make things, they generate things. So if you think text-based editing in Premiere Pro is like typing dancing banana and it will create a dancing banana video, oh, it won't do that. It's, it's really transcription-based editing and it's still very, very useful and powerful, especially if you have long interviews, a bunch of dialogue and you, you need to search and cut the edit based on that. Let's have a look. So the first thing is to import and transcribe the media. And the best place to do that is in the import mode. I'll select these two clips in this interview. And over on the right, I'm turning on automatic transcription. I'm choosing the language. I could enable auto detection and I'm going to separate the speakers. I also have choices to auto transcribe only the clips in the sequence or all imported clips. I'm going to just choose these two and I'll click import. This is the essentials workspace, which is the standard one that's loaded. But I think this new one, the text based editing workspace is much better. It gives us a much larger selection here for the text and the timeline is small at this point. On the right are the clips, and if I open up these clips, now automatic transcription would have turned on if I had selected the correct setting in the import mode as I showed before. Right now I have to do this manually. Okay, so you can see it's transcribing. There's also a new button in Premiere Pro up here that tells you all the tasks that are happening. So when you click on that, you can see what it's transcribing. Now this kind of text-based editing is really like, it's similar to if you're used to editing in the source monitor and setting an in and out point and dropping that into the timeline, except now you're doing it by searching text, selecting text and dropping it in that way. So it can be very useful. The transcription does happen in the background. I mean, for, for me, I am going to wait uh, because I really can't continue until I've got these transcribed. And this happens at about 10 times real time speed. Okay, so you see the text came in and uh, it's in the upper 90s, 90 percentage, uh, like 98, 99%, very, very accurate. But I'm going to edit the speakers. So I'll click in here and edit speaker name. And the first one is the filmmaker. And the second one is Michael Bodie. And there's a uh, an assistant camera operator and then an unknown one. We're just going to leave it like that. OK, so now we can see each one of the persons, uh, each one of the speakers and when they're speaking. And I'm going to search for his name, Bodhi, as he's introducing himself. And I will select that. And there are several different ways to put that into the timeline. Remember, this is the source monitor we're looking at. So I have the same tools up here, the insert and overwrite controls, the comma key and period key on North American keyboard. I could also right click and insert and overwrite, but I'm just going to click up here and it inserts into the timeline. I'm still looking at the source monitor. So it's not going to move you to the timeline and take you away from the transcription. We're going to keep searching and keep selecting text and then insert that into the timeline. Really easy. All right, let's search for our team. We're going to 
select from here all the way down to the bottom here. Same thing, drop that in. Next, we'll search for experience. Ah, there it is. We'll drop that in. And now let's go to JSON. We'll also edit the speaker names. First one again is the filmmaker. And this is Jason Nichols. And we'll search for his name. This one's right there. Drop that in. Next, we want to know about his role. So we'll search for his role. And he says, my role. All the way to there. We'll drop that in. Uh, next, there's a section where he's using the word heart. And we'll drop that in. And when we jump down to the timeline, you'll see that it's what we've edited. So we're not in the source, and I played hi, this Michael back. Bo oh, no, no, hi, sorry. I'm Michael Bodie. I'm the executive producer for the Sundance Film Festival video content team. Our team, cre uh, so our team is responsible for making uh, a wide breadth of the conversation, right? So they're not cut. Jump ahead a little bit. But instead we're sharing like an entire experience for people off the mountain to be able to participate in. Uh, I'm Jason Nichols. I'm the- Okay, so we can continue to edit with the transcription. So now this is based on what's in the timeline. So selecting, cutting, copying, and pasting, all the text-based things that you would normally do with just standard text is going to be reflected in the timeline. They're synced together. So let's go edit some of these, this uh, text about what Michael was saying. And we will go to the end after he talks about the daily recap. And we're gonna get rid of this. So I'll select that. You see it's, it's selected that, and I'll hit the delete key the backspace key and delete it out of there. That's the backspace key on Windows, the delete key on the Mac. Okay, and we can also take the whole section here of JSON, select that whole section using standard keyboard shortcuts, cut, go back to the beginning, and paste. And you can see we've completely changed the interview. Now we've got Jason at the beginning and we've got Michael after that. You'll also notice these little three dots here and those are the gaps. Uh, and you can come in here and delete them. Down at the bottom, we're displaying gaps or not displaying gaps. And if you go to the three dot menu, and go to these pauses. You can show the pauses and you can set the pause length. So you can turn this up or turn this down. And as you turn it down, we're gonna see more pauses, but right around a half a second, we're gonna set that. And you can select these and delete these pauses. Now it's important to note that this is a rough edit. This is not a final edit. You would never let this go out um, with all of these cuts in it. You would fill them up with some B-roll uh, or if you had a multicam, you could do that. So we've got these 
pauses taken out. And again, I'm just hitting the delete key on uh, the Mac, the backspace key on Windows. The actual delete key uh, isn't working. It doesn't do a ripple edit. Okay, so now we've got this. Uh, I'm Jason Nichols. I'm the creative director at Sundance Institute and the Sundance Film Festival. My role at the Sundance Institute is really, you know, what is the story of the Sundance Institute? What is the story that goes into all of the work that we do for artists? And how do we tell that story in the rightest way possible so that it's compelling for artists, so that they want to be a part of it? And at the heart of all of this, it's all in service of the artist and giving them opportunities, creating opportunities, giving them the spotlight to tell their own stories and showcase their own stories. So everything we do is kind of leading to those kinds of moments and are, are, are kind of fed with that level of storytelling. Hi, I'm Michael Bode. Oh, oh. No, no, hi, sorry. I'm Michael Bode. I'm the executive producer <laughs> for the Sundance Film. I think Fund. I left, left this in, which we don't want in. There we go. Michael Bode, I'm the executive producer that. for the Sundance Film Festival video content team. Our team, so our team is responsible for making and a wide variety. I also of video content. <laughs> boy, our this team, is really so showing our team my is responsible uh, for making uh, a wide variety. Let me delete that. Okay. Our team is responsible for making uh, a wide variety of video content. These pieces include. Um, and that. Multi-camera setups that uh, allow us to actually share like the full breadth of the conversation, right? So they're not cut down in such a way where we're mediating it in such a, in, in that, in that sense of the word, but instead we're sharing like an entire experience for people off the mountain to be able to participate in. And because this is a transcript, one button's going to get us captions. So let's do that. Back in the transcript window, we click here. We're gonna choose the uh, default subtitles, create captions, and just like that. Now all of this is captioned. So there you go, that's text-based editing. And in some of the early development, uh, I was part of the uh, online presentations, and some of the, the people that were in that group do this kind of thing all the time. They were talking about text-based editing is going to remove days of work for them. So imagine you now have extra days free from not having to just listen and find and make notes and write times. You're searching, cutting and pasting and deleting all of this stuff. And if you cut out too much, you just extend the clip on the timeline and the words come back. They haven't left anywhere. It's really a revolutionary way to work. And uh, this is only the first step. I know Adobe's going to make this even more amazing and add more AI stuff to it. But as far as generating a dancing banana, that's not here yet. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. There's lots of free stuff to download. You can donate once, monthly, support us any way you want. We really do appreciate all of our wonderful donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to show you some of the new cool stuff that Adobe is giving us editors.